come. Then we will talk about the complex treatment of low-lying tumors of the rectum and anus with ozone therapy by Ms. Titova. Dear colleagues and presidium, thank you very much for inviting me to this congress. So this uh, report is uh, devoted to Claudia Nikolaevna Kontoshiko. Thank you very much for your ideas. You always inspire me. Also, always give me ideas. We do not uh, really see each other quite often for discussions, but each of our discussions uh, brings about fruitful results. Here, my merit is minimum. It's a minimum, and the idea here was uh, to use local ozone therapy in creating oncological patients with colorectal cancer with uh, a low-lying tumor in the rectum. I was supported in my institute by Mr. Anton Oybalolov and uh, Andrei Balkanov, and they did the homework, but unfortunately they could not come. Neither of them could come, and they sent me here to make this speech. The relevance of it. Uh, the problem related to choosing an optimal method to treat uh, color uh, rectal uh, uh, cancer is relevant all over the world. Uh, the incidence of this disease is uh, leading uh, in the stats. Uh, um, it ranks as the third common one in males uh, and uh, the second one in females at least a lot of lethalities in patients with colorectal malign tumors, malignant tumors. At the current stage, now the most effective method to decrease uh, the number of local recurrences would be the chemistry therapy combined with radical uh, surgical intervention, combined chemotherapeutic and radiation influence on the primary tumors really improves uh, the results of surgical intervention. I really like this picture from this old test book. And uh, it shows the kind of patients uh, we have treated with our new method. This is uh, an anal method and low ampular compartment of the rectum. Everything that's uh, in the middle and uh, the upper compartments, uh, these patients were excluded from this study. What are the problems related to chemoradiation treatments? Uh, I need to tell you that the treatment of colorectal cancer lately has become more diverse. Now there are a lot of approaches. It contributes. It's contributed by the development of pharmaceutical industry and the development um, uh, of new uh, drugs and combined uh, remote and radio contact therapies are included. The new surgery is appearing, all contribute to that, but despite all these uh, achievements, the number of recurrences locally in the tumor does not go down. And apart from the, that, uh, the number of uh, bad outcomes uh, is added to by complications uh, over uh, due to radiotherapy and uh, toxicosis are hyperimmune uh, conditions uh, decrease the quality of life of the patient leading to physical and psychological disorders the problem of the chemia radial treatment is very toxic uh, together with destroying the cancer cell the hemoparesis is suppressed it's negatively affected the suppression of erythroparesis leads uh, to a worsening in the oxygen status uh, and tissue hypoxia occurs 
and there is a uh, tumor intoxication and a lot of metabolites accumulate and there is uh, also it can be all just harder for the body the influence of chemical drugs and radiation treatment on antipsychosis development has negative impact on healthy tissue and needs uh, to have a new way to get out the products of tumor disintegration. The wide spectrum of the methods of effort medicine make it possible to find antipsychosis by hemocorrection and detoxification. This intervention is has proven to be quite effective in treating tumor intoxication. However, you should take into account potential risks uh, and complications. Uh, also, it's important to note uh, what can uh, limit uh, this uh, detoxification and hemicorrection method is uh, the unpredictable lowering of concentration of uh, anti tumor drugs in the blood. So, while you look at for scientific, you have to select the optimum method of detoxification in oncological practice. The ozone therapy has the following effects here. Before we found this method for us uh, that I will tell you about, we had started, uh, we had made a review of the literature that's out there. We reference the association of Russian ozone therapies uh, to find the right concentration of ozone in our treatments. Medical ozone has uh, a good antibacterial immune correcting um, fungicide action and I show it here in this slide as a tenet that everyone agrees with, no doubts about it. Also it works against viruses and it detoxifies. Also another effective method, safe method is in ozone therapy, this efferent medicine area has to do with the recovery and oxidizing area, which we know low concentration of ozone are not toxic because uh, antioxidant uh, protection system is activated. The mechanisms of uh, medical application of ozone are as follows. The immunity is stimulated by systemic impact on the body of low concentration of all three. The uh, local impact of ozone on bacteria, virus, and fungi, and has a member protecting effect for tissues. This is the activation of metabolic processes that impact the oxygen homeostasis in the body. The pathogenetic aspects of the application of medical ozone is that it doesn't really affect the membrane directly because it is uh, limited by a few protective factors, lipoproteins, uh, plasma, albumins, and water-soluble antioxidants that are involved in the primary connection in, in the transformation of free radicals of biological activity of zone. In this case, is a result of dynamic uh, equilibrium between pro-oxidant properties of uh, ozone products and components of antioxidant uh, protection system. In terms of uh, platelets, uh, active oxygen forms uh, lead to better growth factors. The platelet growth factor is involved in a uh, reparation and angiogenesis process. Uh, this uh, protein is synthesized by megachoriocytos at the um, is uh, in a granules of platelets. It's a strong stimulator of the reparation activity sensitive to fibroblast and myocytes in the cellular cycle. TGFB, transforming growth factor beta, is represented by three isoforms. It's involved in the control of proliferation and cellular differentiation. It acts as an anti proliferative factor in normal epithelial cells. At an early stage of oncogenesis in the cellular cycle. So the impact of some therapy on the blood uh, and including this therapy in this method is not only a complementary mechanism to decrease the symptoms of hypoxemia, erectation, and limited immunity, also it uh, retards the tumor process. It retards the process of the tumor development directly. The selective use of ozone, like a radiosensibilizer of uh, tumor cells, and as a radioprotector of the surroundings, 
how the tissue allows to saturate the tissue with oxygen in adequately high concentrations to be more effective uh, against uh, the tumor by so the ozone being able to induce uh, the release of tumor necrotic this factor which uh, destroys tumor cells. For the first time in the Moscow uh, RNG center named Dr. Vladimirsky used uh, this new method of treatment in the combined therapy of rectum cancer. We got a patent for this uh, development which is called uh, the way to treat uh, low-lying uh, tumors of the rectum and anus. Under the number of, um, well, we got it just a month ago. The method to treat low lying uh, tumors of the rectum and anus by radiotherapy after the three to five se sessions of this therapy, 30 to 60 minutes before it. Also, a nice physiological solution. The concentration of 20 to 40 micrograms per liter are introduced in the parietal cellular cellulose. Uh, the device that we use. Uh, this is the, an ozone synthesizer for this bellops, which you all know. And this is a radiotherapy for brachiotherapy, a bibic, multi, bibic multisource HDR, which we also use. So this is the device, and this is how we use it on a patient. The advantages. The, we examined it on eight patients, four males and four females. So no statistics uh, are there yet because uh, and we're not showing you any tables, showing gammograms, biochemical properties and values because we believe that we need uh, to study more patients before we can give you any adequate uh, outcomes um, on that. So we need to calculate their stats. Um, in order to come to any conclusion. But what we got there is what I'm going to tell you about. Uh, 42 to 56 years is the age of uh, the patients, up to 73 years, I'm sorry. Con the comorbidities uh, are none. Uh, and uh, they were diagnosed with the rectum cancer for the first time in the anus or in the low lying adicalcinoma and uh, flat cell cancer of patients 30 to 60 minutes before it were introduced um, into the pararectal uh, cellulose of 30 to 60 milliliters of ozonized uh, physiological solution 20 to 100 to 400 micrograms per liter. The further treatment was performed according to the clinical recommendations for this pathology disease. This is a clinical example here. This is a patient, 73 years of age, she was checked into a unit uh, with anal cancer going to the low lying ampullary compartment T30. It took two thirds of the rectum, five centimeter long. Medium differentiated adenocarcinoma confirmed by colonoscopy, MRI, and uh, ultrasound sensor. Pre operation course of non adjuvant chemotherapy was. Um, uh, performed in the specified dosages um, and ozonized physical solution was introduced before the th first three fractions. Radio radiotherapy was uh, performed by using, along with a chemotherapy, the duration of 10 days. And then the second course of the radiotherapy was performed each, prior to each science. Yes, course uh, in control treatment after following eight hours. A tumor was not diagnosed; wasn't obvious. The next clinical uh, exam and uh, patient, 45 years, cancers of lower bottle tumor. With infiltration of parietal for two millimeters, the 
bioscopy has to be MRA of the lower femoral and ultrasonic of the gut. The following scheme of treatment was used, radiotherapy, number 10, 30 minutes prior to radiotherapy, parietal cellulose introduction to hundred of ozone, eight following eight hours regression of the tumor and healing up in 10 weeks for testing performed everything showed good patient 49 years old lower ampular compartment cancer following eight weeks the surgery performed first rejection of the of the lower intestine toxic manifestation was not observed in a single patient local administration was a physiological solution some systematic changes observed lymphocyte number increasing immunoglobulin EGG decreasing within a certain period of time it felt good which is an important fact this con these are the conclusions to be made using osmotherapy in tumor formations is a good and perspective direction anti-tumor and monomodulating anti-hypoxia effect of the ozone helps us to use local ozone therapy as a safe means of to increase radio sensitivity of a tumor is an toxificating effect of ozone therapy is an additional advantage of this method combination of classical schemes of surgical treatment and the ozone therapy is a good combination I would also like to say words by Mr. Morazo. In medicine there is no ineffective treatment method. It is only about the proper timing and the efficient use of the methods that you possess. Thank you very much. I would like to add that further we plan to allocate several groups of patients uh, that will take our patient the patented method the patients that would the main group of the patients with the trial group we will try to we'll try to give you more details in the future about the trial group we will inform you. Thank you very much for the interesting report. Any questions? We had a small group. Those people described in the last group were the rest people. Before, before that, what, what is the impression? You, you feel that ozone really does its job. What oncologists and radiologists tell us is changes in the chemography. There is no catastrophic anemias. Patients, their their mood, their psycho state is good. Most of, because most of the patients usually think that the life is over and there is no light coming 
into our lives, but many young women appear, many of them younger than 40 years old. What is the advantage of rectal administration into cellulose before rectal insufflation? What do you think? It is a more complicated procedure than insufflation of ozone oxygen solution. Thank you very much for your remark. We were thinking about that and we thought that rectal insufflation of oxygen ozone solution, I think it's about concentration, a huge concentration of ozone in cancerous patients are not recommended, so we were afraid that to we need to get it to the limit. So, anyway, it, it gets there anyways. I mean, yeah, but this procedure is more complicated than insufflation of rectal ozone oxygen solution, but you will get a m more effect out of that. Optimal images. Dr. Vladimirovich performs that in advance, first of all, and radi radiotherapy, okay, insufflation, when, when can you perform radiotherapy before, what, is, what time interval? In Germany there is a special center for such patients that are receiving radiotherapy, they go through two courses before radiotherapy or chemo chemotherapy and they increase sensibility to radiotherapy that is a course so it means we're not the first one no no you're not the first one yet but we came up with idea individually and then after radiotherapy we, they get another method. So the rectal approach really increases and strengthens the immune system because everything is in lymph nodes over here. Lymph nodes in abdomen. That's so I don't know. It, it is more complicated method than rectal insufflation. You know, we administrate it locally. This is also locally. Yeah, but you know, gas is everywhere. We just thought, I mean, injecting there is it's, it's, it's like a surgery. We were afraid of the concentration. We were afraid of high concentration. Why are you afraid of those concentrations? Because they end in debates. I mean, people have special equipment and you cannot be deceived by the equipment. Don't be afraid of those concentrations. You're not afraid to administrate liquid, but you're afraid to administrate gas. It's a logical thing to introduce gas over there. Then, I mean, what if we get into the vessel? What do we, what do we get? Well, I'm sorry, I meant the vein. Yes, we read the uh, Mr. Tiasov's work and uh, the question. Any more questions, dear colleagues? Okay, this is the final words from my side. Thank you very much. For, uh, okay, the mic microphone is dead. Okay, now it's, it's on. We are into a zone therapy, really. So the an anti cancerogenic effect ther treatments. As a therapist, are constantly asking us questions, uh, new and old ones. But patients are also saying, uh, but uh, pointing to that, but systemic ozone therapy is uh, used in Europe mostly. The sensitivity uh, is uh, increased, but the radiation load is uh, decreased twice uh, because after. 
so they do away with intoxication. And the second interesting thing from the standpoint of the treatment is that is the local application of the tumor growth area because uh, there you prepare the organism for the resistance you purify to that. Here you attack uh, the tumor center. Otto Varga said in 1993 discovered that one of the reasons behind the, the growth of the cancer cell is uh, lack of oxygen. That's why it grows. But when you start introducing oxygen there, uh, which we have experimented upon, you could uh, regress uh, uh, the uh, cancer cell on the skin. Now, there is um, information that cancer cells use up a lot of oxygen. Okay. Well, cancer cells proliferate uh, due to stop and mincent as well. It's an interesting report because uh, the results speak for themselves. No matter what advice we give you, you should know that um, we should keep talking about it. The systemic ozone therapy should also be used, but combining the physical factor that destroys uh, the tumor in low concentrations and low volumes of oxygen, something that surprised me. In a good way, we considered it as well. This work is just beginning, you should keep developing it. Thank you very much.